it is very sad that we have come to the end of this episode the alchemist book the last video this video is just a continuation of the previous video now the boy went and asked the desert for help the desert said i cannot do this all alone you need to ask the support of the wind so he went and asked the wind for becoming like a wind but the wind said i cannot help you all alone you need to get the support of the sun now the boy went and asked the sun and the sun said even i have limitations you need to ask the person who has written everything who has created everybody now the boy understood he need to ask the soul of the god he is the one who created everything and he can do miracles he realized he himself is a part of the soul of the god in fact he can create magics once he realized that he is a part of the soul of the god he ordered himself to become the wind he became the wind there was a huge like a tornado kind of a thing and then the mud the sand went all of the arms the people were holding each other because of the wind effect the animals are running here and there now once everything settled people were seeing the cliff but the boy is not there he is near them now everybody got scared two people smiled the alchemist because he got the true disciple and the number two person who smiled is the chief of the tribesmen he felt so grateful that he has seen the majestic the strange power of allah now the chief said thank you for showing your magnificent superpower thank you they he gave two armed men so that they can give him send off and to guard them till the place where they want to go now they reached a monastery the alchemist the boy and the two guards now the alchemist said the two guards that thank you for protecting us now we can go out from here you can go back to your camp now there the alchemist is telling the boy in another 3 hours you will find pramans in the monastery a monk came he asked them how can i help you now the alchemist said can you show me your kitchen i need to use the kitchen for some time the monk allowed the alchemist to use the kitchen the alchemist went to the kitchen he took a iron pan took the lead and he started boiling it he started heating it the lead got converted into molten liquid he took the philosopher stone just scratch a little bit like a hair and put it on the molten lead metal once it got cooled it became gold which took the shape of the iron pan now the alchemist broke it into four pieces one he kept for himself because he need to go back to his own home number 2 he gave to the monk for helping them and number 3 he gave to the boy now the boy is saying anyway i am near i i will be reaching my pramits my treasure very soon why are you giving this to me and for this the alchemist replied if something is happening once it will not be repeated but if the something is happening two times there is a possibility that it happens the third time as well so have it you might need it now the fourth piece of gold is given to the monk he told the monk that when the boy comes and he is in need of gold you give it to him from there everybody said goodbye to each other and everybody left on their own way now the boy is traveling to pramits he is able to listen to his heart and his heart was telling him where the water from your eyes drops there is your treasure he was climbing 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 and he saw pramits 
he was so grateful and happy because after long journey lot of obstacles lot of challenges he saw pramits finally the water from his eyes dropped on the sand he realized what his heart told him he started digging in search of the treasure started searching 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 nothing he was able to find and since the wind was more he is digging but because of the wind the mud is closing what he already digged now the boy is continuing to dig because he is listening to his heart few people came from the back and they asked him what are you doing here and one of the person opened his bag and found gold he took the gold and he asked what are you doing here and everybody started beating him his face was stolen dress was torn finally he could not control he told i am here because i got two times a dream that there is a treasure near the pyramids so i am here to find my treasure now everybody left him to dig so that they can steal the treasure from this boy he was digging 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 his hands bleeding he was totally exhausted they did not find anything and finally those guys who beaten him they said the leader of the people are hey, leave it leave it leave him now the leader took the boy who was kind of half conscious he told him we are leaving you are going to live don't worry but don't be a stupid like this even 2 years back i got that same dream like what you got that there is a church damaged one in spain if i go there if i search near the place where the shepherds used to sleep i'll find my treasure but i am not a stupid like you to travel so far because it is not going to be there now the boy realized where is the church in that church only he got his dream of treasure he kept quiet he was laughing even though he could not smile and laugh because there was no energy in his body they left now the boy is traveling back to spain and in the spain he went to the same place where he got the dream he went to that place and he started digging he found his treasure spanish gold coins he is so happy he is realizing that after going through lots of challenges finally he has got his treasure now he has agreed that he will be giving 1/10 to the gypsy to the lady who predicted who interpreted his dreams so he gave 1/10 of the treasure to that lady now he is thinking fatima i'm coming for you with this the story ends in this story i'm able to relate my life with the boy I want you all to read the book so that you can relate your story with the boy story you will I'm very sure you will learn so many things there are so many signals we get from the universe it is we who are not understanding and interpreting the signals and we are not going forward so i request you all to read this book i'm so happy that i finally finished this book and with this the episode completes for the alchemist book tomorrow i'll be seeing you in another book as always sharing is caring bye